step right up, it's time to play! Will Jordan Peterson be my dad? He will never be your dad. He doesn't love you, but he loves trucks. That's a pretty truck you got there. Mind if I, mind if I play with it? I realize that every time I say truck or trucker now, referring to the goofballs that had a month long street party in Ottawa, uh, I'm going to get a stream of comments about how most truckers are, are not against the mandates. They got vaccinated that the people in Ottawa are not real truckers. But you, person, I'm imagining in my comment section, have missed the most important part. Trucker is a mindset now. You know, you got your, uh, your gorilla brain, your sigma grind, and now trucker is a state of mind. Dude, you don't even need to own a truck. You just need to be wearing plaid, own a pair of truck nuts, and believe that vaccines were created by Klaus Schwab of the World Economic Forum to suppress your immune system, increase inflation, and bring about the Great Reset. This also means that Jordan Peterson is now, in fact, a trucker. Because he certainly isn't a professor. At least not anymore. He left that job because the university was too woke. And now he's a trucker writing songs about waking up? Let me, let me get this straight. Waking up to the reality of systemic oppression of marginalized groups that is supported by heaps of academic research. That's bad. Waking up to the realization that the government is suppressing protests with microwave radiation. So you bring popcorn to the protest to function as a canary in a coal mine to make sure they're not melting your brain. That's good. Wake the fuck up, sheeple. So if they actually start shooting us with microwave rays, we yeah. actually got yeah. some fucking yeah. we got some popcorn yeah. and we start oh, popping man. boys, that means to step out of the way. I also anticipate that doing this video is going to attract a lot of people. Uh like like in a cult. The 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 the, the Petersonites. The Petersonites? The <laughs> The Petersonians. The Petersonians are going to come and they're going to complain and say, I'm, I'm wrong about their genius, daddy, that that uh, he's so smart and, and I'm, you're taking him out of context. And, and But look, all I really need to do is point out what a complete doo doo head Peterson is uh, by playing a clip of Peterson talking about DNA. So you see the sort of the primary mother and father of humanity emerging from this underlying snake-like entity with its tails tangled together. I think that's a rep I really do believe this, although it's very complicated to explain why. I really believe that's a representation of DNA. So, Peterson finds a bunch of ancient drawings with things wrapped, wrapped together, you know, woo, wrapped together, and concludes that ancient people knew about the double helix all along. And he really does believe this. I really believe that's a representation of DNA. Even, even though rope existed. But hey, bucko, why are you straw manning me like this? That's not an argument. Well, if you need a logical argument, complete with premises and conclusions, to understand that ancient drawings of pretty ordinary patterns are not predictions of future scientific discoveries because they just happen to have superficial similarities. I don't know what to tell you. You can see the cubists, uh, or even in the work of artists like M.C. Escher, this is clearly the artists of the early 20th century tapping into the universal consciousness. I believe they were manifesting the video game Cubert. Cubert with the little orange man. And I, and I really, I, I really do believe this, even though it's complicated to explain why. And it's hard to figure out what the rules of the game are. It, the, the little orange man, it's hard to figure if you push the up arrow, whether he's going to jump to the left or to the right. It's a very confusing game. So now I'm going to react to a, a song of his. This is going to be like a react channel. They're, they're very popular nowadays on YouTube. So if that's your thing, they, like strap in, strap in for some react content. Hell yeah. So it seems like our boy Jay Pete has released what, what they call in the biz. A single. We're gonna watch the single because it came with a music video, all right? But we got a hit single by Jordan Pete. Jordan Pete, our boy, has wrote a song. We're gonna listen to it, all right? I don't know what to expect. This is a first go. Never heard it before in my life. This is it. We're gonna we're gonna dive in head first. This is the first experience, okay? 
I'm gonna give you my honest reaction here. All right, all right. Ooh. It changed from the earlier image. It went from there to, ooh. ooh. What's on her head? <gasps> okay. I'm trying to think of like what like what 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 perspective is being taken in this lyric so far like who who are they talking to are they talking to all the people at home who I guess uh, don't feel like we're in tyranny <laughs> yeah there's a pandemic I don't I don't I don't mind I don't I don't need to uh I don't need to go to Walmart without a mask on you know I don't need I can I can uh I can wear a mask and uh, and buy my tube socks. I don't need to give other people disease while I'm buying my tube socks, so I'm gonna wear a mask. Is that, is that, like, we could have built a home instead? <laughs> we could have built a home instead. Instead, we wore a mask to get our tube socks. Understand the going home part. Like I <laughs> going home. Where are we already home? Aren't we already home during this pandemic? I don't. You should be going home. You should be waking up. Is he telling the truckers to go? Like that. That feels like that's against uh, his message. Unless he's saying like you know, in a better world, the truckers should not need to be here. They should be going home. This is a very confusing. Uh, you know, just juxtaposition here. And it, and it just feel you know what it feels vaguely Pink Floydish. This feels Pink Floydish. Not not expecting uh, Jordan Peterson and uh, I mean he didn't. I think I think he's he's he wrote the words and he's got some like backing vocals in there. But like that's obviously not him singing uh, the main thrust of it. But uh, I, I was not I was not antici anticipating Pink Floyd. I don't quite know what I was anticipating. <laughs> But Pink Floyd was not it, okay? It's one thing being influenced by something, you know, and uh, you can you can tell that s some of what you're doing hat like shares uh, a, a history with with a, with a kind of like genre, and and you've brought that on board, right? Like that's one thing, but it's another to just like sound like it. That like it, that's almost like at the level of parody or like just pure copycat, you know? What's with these images too? <laughs> <laughs> what, is it? what does this have to do with the truck convoy? Wake up! Wake up, brother! I just love me some truck! So in the truck right now. You know, honestly, this is probably the best part of the song so far. Fucking ripping solo. And it's gonna cut to the course again? Not yet, I was anticipating a course. I was wrong, see? They're throwing curveballs at us. <laughs> we were not prepared. <laughs> no, that was pretty tight. That whoever's on that guitar has got some chops, you know? I don't know where to go. I don't know where to turn. I don't know where to go. <laughs> So they're lost? <laughs> I don't understand what's happening in the song. I should just stop and think. Okay. It's really hard for me to wrap my head around it because it's like, it's not a terrible song. Like I've heard worse. It just feels out of place with the trucker convoy, you know what I mean? Like, I can't imagine, like, the truckers out there just really jamming to this song, you know? 
like I was listening in, like the 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 truckers, and say what you will about them, but had a pretty uh, bland taste of music. No offense, you know. I mean, if you're gonna go abstract like this, like what he what he could, or like you know avant garde, or like this kind of like Pink Floyd uh, psychedelic solo stuff. I mean, you you could have gone all in and done like a fucking Kid A Radiohead. <laughs> Who's got the trackers? Who's got the trackers? And like electronic sounds. Instead, uh, you just copied Pink Floyd. I realize now that I'm done uh, listening to this tune that we're, we're gonna get, we're going to get a lot of think pieces about how we need to understand the truckers in order to know what to do, what to do about the trucker problem. That is usually framed in terms of like what we can do to like appease them, so they're they're not all trucked up. And liberals prefer the truckers in their, like, microaggressive state where they're yelling racial slurs at neighbors or sexually harassing the office lady. But when the trucker rage becomes macro and it jeopardizes the money, when they start to shut down highways and occupy cities, uh, that's when the liberals want to understand the trucker. That's, that's when they really want to get to know them, you know. Now, the issue with appeasement is that the, the trucker's demands can't be met without making life worse for, for other people. You know, like, r removing gays and lesbians from television might quell the rage of a homophobe. But it's at the expense of gay people who, uh, I, like, I don't want to be silenced. Even in the context of the pandemic, if, if we appease the truckers by rolling back COVID-19 restrictions, we risk harming the rest of society due to the spread of disease. The trucker mindset is one of fantasy. Marginalized people will always exist, no matter how hard truckers want to silence them. And the pandemic isn't going away, no matter how hard they try to pretend it isn't real. If appeasement is out, what do we do about it? We need to make sure that they have no friends. Okay? Peterson got a lot of attention because he was an academic. If he was anyone else, no one would have cared. He was a bigot towards trans people and made up some fantasy about a Canadian law that anyone who knew about the subject could tell you was a boneheaded thing. But he was credentialed and was given the opportunity and the space to be a giant piece of shit. We need to make having the trucker mindset so isolating, so lonely, that it just isn't worth it to have it. That it actually would ruin someone like Peterson uh, in terms of their career for being the piece of shit he is, rather than guaranteeing them a book contract that so far has amounted to a never-ending BuzzFeed listicle about how to be an insufferable young man on the internet, but uh, at least you have a clean room to show for it. Instead, maybe we can make sure the only way he can communicate is through the medium of song. Eventually, when the novelty wears off and people will stop listening to a rip-off of Pig Floyd, uh, Peterson will become a relic of the past, which in some ways is what he's always been. All right, let's drop a beat. Okay, ready? What, what kind of beat are we gonna get? Let's get a, let's get a country beat. Okay. All right, we're gonna slow down the tempo just a little bit. How about let's get a. That's the sound of the truck that I saw at the convoy, and I loved it. Honk, 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 honky, honk, honk, honky, honk, honk, honky, honk, 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 honk. That's enough of that shit. 
Thanks for watching the video. If you like what you saw, consider giving the video a like down below. If you want, you could even subscribe to our channel or check out some of the other content we have. If you want to see what else we're doing, you could also find the links in the description for our Twitch channel, our podcast, leave a comment, do all the things, click that bell thing that everyone wants you to click. And if you uh, want to support what we're doing, you can donate to us at patreon.com slash imperial news. Thanks for watching. Have a lovely day.